All right, guys, what is going on? We're back uh, with another TNA Impact review. Um, last time we did the news and shit after. I like that. I'd rather get to the show first because you need to support the wrestling before you talk about all this drama bullshit craziness. And that's what exactly we're going to do one more time. Um, hopefully this is all over by Monday. And the only thing we got to talk about next Thursday is what the hell happened. Uh, you know, the court case went on, I think it was yesterday crazy ass shit oh my gosh um as you can tell i have not been able to do the monday night raw and the smackdown live reviews i had to add this in there because i was i told you guys i was but I got sick couldn't do it feeling a lot better today so i've been able to do this review probably gonna be able to do the hell in the cell review so let's stop on the tv this is a tna review let's go ahead and get into tna treat or delete that whole shit was hilarious, bro. Matt Hardy is in a cornfield, and they're going around, and all of a sudden he goes, <gasps> he's got a premonition, and then oh, some this that guy just comes up, and he just starts writing out of fucking nowhere. Tell what the hell? That was awesome. Out of nowhere, that was fucking awesome. And then Jeff Hardy, he gets lost. I guess it's like I don't know where my family's at. I'm hungry. I gotta eat, and he starts eating corn, and it's fucking raw that cook, and he just starts spinning it out. Like, that was hilarious. I loved it. Uh, good stuff. So, uh, we're going to do all this treat elite stuff first. I think this was the funniest part of the show. Then, here comes trick or treaters, right? And they're like, treat, or, the manager's like, treat or delete. And they say, treat. And here comes Rebby with a whole bunch of fucking candy. And Matt Hardy says, no, you cannot poison the youth with that. Green beans. I was done. Oh my god. That was hilarious. Great stuff there. And then. <laughs> it's fucking Hurricane. The Hurricane is back. And he's like. Man, you're too old for this. And whatever. <laughs> I can't. Oh my god. They are hilarious man. Everything they do is hilarious. Then we had Hillary Clinton, and uh, no, that was before. That was after this thing. Matt Hardy asked Jeff Hardy, "Where is his costume at?" And he says, "Give me one second or whatever. I'll be back." Comes back in as a tweed. What the hell was that? He starts go. He's talking like so fucking quick. Boom, 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 so quick, right? It was insane, hilarious. And then it starts going out there and cutting into the grass. You know, he's good at that stuff, whatever. And he puts Happy Halloween with pumpkins and shit out there. That was badass. Oh, holy shit. And then, so now we get to the part where uh, we see Hillary in um, what's his name, Donald Trump. How did I forget that? And here comes. Uh, senior Benjamin, he's like, I'm gonna build a wall and bury you under it. And it fucking tases his ass. I'm like, get him. And then, here comes Jeff Hardy, like, I sent you all them emails. Where'd you get them? Referring to the emo crap. I don't like keeping up with that stuff. So, I mean, yeah. But, that was pretty funny. And then he gets Vanguard 1, Boo, Boo Radley. And then he called him. And Vanguard 1 was a freaking ghost. Oh my god. I loved it. And then the final thing was this girl, this guy, I think it was a little kid comes up with the beast, was it DCC mask. Uh, I was going to say beat down clamp. That's last year. DCC mask comes up. It says, Your husband needs to watch this now. And it's the DCC challenge in the Hardys. To a world tag team title match next week. Um, so this the DCC thing kind of ties into what we saw later in the show. So our first match to start off the show was Jesse Goddard's and my personal favorite EC3 versus Aaron Rex and E Eli Drake Dummy. Yeah, I gotta get that up. I gotta get that up. Um, but when you know they're going. And this is still so. This is still obviously when Jesse has that hurt leg or whatever from Mount Glory. You can tell. So, I just wanted to throw that out there. But it was a solid match. Um, 
great stuff. I'm glad they're kind of give Jesse this push. He kind of started having the push uh, last year when he broke up from uh, Robbie, whatever. Yeah, I was kind of pissed that day. <laughs> um, because, funny story, the day I got this t-shirt, they fucking stopped being attacking me. I was pissed, but they're back, whatever. But they're giving Jesse this push. I'm enjoying it. He deserves it. Um, EC3 is doing his thing with Eli Drake, which I think is awesome. The mic work, the matches between these two are going to be fucking epic. And I'm telling you right now, it's going to be good. Good stuff. So, um, then we have... The match goes on and on. It's pretty good. 20 minute on the match. Go to commercial and everything. It was pretty good. And Aaron Rex, I guess he's a full on heel now. I don't know. They quickly turned him into a heel. I, I'm fine with it. He wasn't getting, like, after the first month, he was not getting a good reaction out of the crowd anymore. I don't know what happened. And maybe as a heel, he might get a better reaction. Um, so. They cheat the win. Remember those rings last week he was wearing to, on the set of The Fact of Life? And a whole bunch of people on Twitter were talking about it. He he noticed it, everything. And he talked about it on Twitter. And he goes and during the match, puts him on. But tapes him up so it looks like tape around his fingers. Punch fucking right to the face of uh, Jesse Goddard. And they get the victory. So later on in the show, Jesse Goddard asked for a match. Grand Championship match next week between him and uh, Aaron Rex. So next week's... Should be pretty good. Um, next match. Team X Gold. Spud is so entertaining. Spud, like I've been saying, this is one of the best heels in wrestling. I don't care what people say. I enjoy his work as a heel. It's always great. I enjoyed him as a face. He's great. It's awesome. Awesome stuff. I just hit my hand on the table. Um, and it's Team X Gold. Team Go for Broke with Mandrews, DJZ, and Sutter versus Spud. And I, for one, I heard he wasn't at the taping, so I knew it was going to happen. I really wanted Caleb Conley to debut in this match. When is this dude going to debut? What the, how long is it going to take? You signed him months ago. Months ago. It's been forever. Well, we're going to have to, we are going to have to wait to see him until 2017. And I hate to say this, even if the company's even going to be around in 2017, we're going to have to wait. See him in 2017, which sucks. Um... But it's a decay. I'm fine with the choice too. Crazy Steve, X Division competitor. I mean, it's, yeah. It's Abyss was X Division champion a long time ago. So, you know, it was a pretty good match. And that fucking DDT that DJZ hit on Spud was nasty. Uh, and go for broke wins. Um, I want to talk a little about this team at Gold. When I first heard about it, I thought it was going to be like a tag triple tag team titles that would have been a cool idea um but it's not they're, they're just fighting at six man tag matches see who's the best maybe next year they can bring in some gold into this team x gold but i've got to say the matches are great just the concept still i don't get it i don't think i'll ever get it until they bring some titles into the shit um, so, yeah, there was not a lot of matches, because it was a trick, trade or delete thing, took up a lot of time, uh, which was awesome, I'm glad they did it. Um, then we had Bobby Lashley, their destroyer, and Eddie Edwards in there, signing the contracts for their title match next week, and man, did I love that whole thing. A lot of people say Eddie Edwards does not have the mic skills to be the world champion, and I, I think he's stepped it up since becoming the world champion. Honestly, it's been great. And lastly, man, no one can say that this dude has not stepped up this year. This dude is fucking awesome. He's a beast in Bellator. That match, that fight he had the other last week was fucking. He killed him. God. And then this year, see, that's why he's awesome. He's one of my favorites. I bought the T-shirt for a reason. Um, so Bobby Lashley. Solid stuff. Next week, going to be good. For sure. I, I mean, it's going to be good. Uh, man. Um, so now we go to the knockouts match between Laurel, Van Ness, and Ali. And man, oh man, does that crowd go fucking nuts every time Ali comes out there. Uh, so when Ali finally takes that step 
and become a good like a wrestler. She finally completes that whole training, whatever she's doing, whatever the whole story's gonna go to. It's going to be good. The crowd loves her. Um, and she almost beat Laura Vaness, but Laura Vaness hits that nasty curb stomp. Like she doesn't hit her in the back of the head; she hits her in the back. So when they just damn, it just kills her every time. So that was always pretty good. So our final thing before we continue on to the world title was involving the bromance. Well, 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 Grado, which they the fans go crazy every time Grado comes out there too. Grado wants to be. I guess Jesse Goddard for Halloween. Oh my god. That was pretty funny. <laughs> but sadly, the DCC destroys him. Lays him out. So that kind of ties into the whole treat or delete thing from earlier. Um, yeah, it was pretty funny. I enjoyed the whole thing. Because I'm a romance fan. Robbie is one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, now we get to the main event between... Cody and Brandy Rhodes versus Mike Bennett and Maria. Solid match. I liked everything about it. It worked. The Maria taunting Brandy Rhodes. Maria slapping the crap out of Cody. Mike Bennett really had the match under control the whole time. They went back and forth. Uh, when Brandy Rhodes finally got in the match, see it. She hits her finisher. That's I don't know if it's finished or whatever that face first move I guess it is and then that a submission hold Cody his submission holds double tap out and I guess it's the last time we're seeing Cody Rhodes in the impact zone because they go to the back He's telling everybody. Thanks for having me here. It was great stuff and Lashley takes him out So obviously I'm guessing that means it's the last time we're gonna see Cody Rhodes Maybe he comes back 2k 2k 17 2017 Maybe he comes back next year. Um, maybe. And he faces Lashley. That'd be awesome. Um, so, interesting stuff with Lashley and Cody, Rose, Cody Rhodes segment at the end. Maybe. I don't know. I'm interested to see where this goes. Uh, that should be good to see. So, all in all, awesome stuff tonight. Funny stuff. It was a good show. Not too much to complain about, and everything was just good. So, uh, another good episode of Impact again. So now we're going to get into this drama. Mm -hmm. Wow, was there a lot. Um, they had their court hearing or whatever, and basically each one was saying that they were, Billy was, Billy Corgan said Dixie, Gave him the money, whatever, blah, blah, blah. whole bunch of stuff. Billy Corgan is trying to get the company, basically. And he, I think he should. Because he's got the money. Um, Dixie Carter, she's done a lot for TNA. She got them out of the trouble, the hole they were in the one time. But then she brings them back into one. And Billy Corgan's just trying to get them out of it. Because I mean, Billy Corgan has a passion, he says in the thing. He knows what he's doing, obviously. He's the... The show has become great every time, ever since he's beginning creative, ever since he's become president, and I really would just love for him to take control of the company, just give it to him. So, and Dix Carter's statement was whole. It's not. Corgan said it was a solid means. Basically, the debts outweighed how much the company was worth, and Dix said it's not. And they've got people giving them money or whatever. That does not mean. That you've got money. That means people are giving you money. And you're still going to have to pay them back. Smart job I guess. Um, but. I'm ready for Billy Corgan to get it. Um, because I think. He's going to rebrand the whole thing. New everything. And I think that will be good. A good change for TNA. A really good change. So. Um, Monday. Supposedly we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah. I'm going to be sitting ready for fucking whatever happens on Monday. Uh, I don't know if I'll do a video on it. If, if Billy Corgan does get the company, I'll do a video on it. If not, I'm not going to raw review. Like, no, like I'm going to get started doing back normal review wrestling reviews. So, with that being said, let me know what you thought of the show. Uh, I thought it was decent. It was a good It was a good show. I enjoyed watching it. Um, now I'm going to watch some basketball. But uh, like, subscribe, and comment. I am out. Thank you so much for watching.